Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, you're here because you're going to import your OBS Studio scenes and overlays into Streamlabs OBS. So you've decided you want to make the switch from OBS Studio to Streamlabs OBS. If you're trying to do it the other way around, you want your slobs scenes in your OBS Studio scenes, check the link in the description. You've got the wrong video. The one in the description, that's the one you need. So in this video, very, very short, I'm going to go through where you can locate and then import the scenes from OBS Studio into Streamlabs OBS just to save you a little bit of time if you're making a transition and to save you from having to build all of your scenes one by one. So anyone that's using any streaming software looking to transition from one to the other, if it's OBS Studio to something else, you'll probably find this useful. If you're specifically looking to get to Streamlabs OBS, this is the perfect video. The reason is within the video, I'll also show exactly where the JSON files will be located for OBS Studio and also for Streamlabs OBS. So you can then import them to say XSplit or OBS yes live or whatever so yeah if you do find this useful feel free to give it a like and if you're new around here hit the sub button if you want to check me out on my stream check me out twitch.tv forward slash machine dana otherwise i think we're ready let's go Okay, we are here in OBS Studio. First things first, I'm actually going to open up the scene collections folder just in case you have any issues with doing this from either way around, actually, from slobs to OBS Studio, OBS Studio to slobs. Obviously, this is specifically OBS to slobs. The default location of your Streamlabs OBS scene collections uses backslash your name with the space in between or whatever your PC name is called, app data now if you click into the users folder you may not see app data and if you don't see app data you simply just have to type it once you get into the roaming file here i'll just demonstrate you can click into slobs client and then scene collections and the scene collections that are already there for streamlabs obs are located there just for reference it's the same default location for obs studio except instead of clicking on slobs client we're clicking on obs studio basic and scenes and it's these json files here if you right click and properties it's these json files that are the relevant files i'll link both of them in the description below so that you can see and type it and paste it and do whatever but the reason why i'm mentioning this if you've changed the location of obs studio or streamlabs obs this could cause a complication if you're trying to automatically do this through the method that i'm going to show you you may need to reinstall streamlabs obs and or obs studios and then if you install it in the default locations it should find it from one to the other and that might seem like a real ball ache but trust me that's going to be a lot better than rebuilding all of your scenes one by one it'll take a lot less time so within obs studio if you simply want to export the data you want to export the file to a location for instance the desktop saying it already exists i'm going to replace it that's now created a file on the desktop which can then be imported into another broadcasting software however there is an easier way so if you're in streamlabs obs because you've downloaded that and that's the software you now want to use from obs studio we simply want to go into the section in the bottom left hand corner this will be the scenes area now if you don't see this section here just click on the layout editor on the left hand side here and make sure that you've got the scene selector within this area you may not have that in your area uh, i don't know why you wouldn't have that but if you don't it'll be listed on the side here and you can just drag it and drop it into a relevant area and even change the layout of streamlabs obs so we left click on this we click manage all now we're not going to try and locate that file and import it i only really showed that to illustrate that you can set it as a file a json file mainly for people not using streamlabs obs within streamlabs obs if we just click import from obs it takes a few seconds. It looks for the known locations of all of the scene collections that you've got in OBS Studios. And what Streamlabs OBS will do now is it will locate those files and repoint to those collections. So Streamlabs OBS here has found my Machine Dana Spring 2021. The fact that we can see that it's updated a few seconds ago shows that this is a new file. However, if you wanted to make it even clearer, you could easily go into OBS Studio, go into the scene collection and simply rename the collection that you're in. So if I rename this, for instance, to something like Slobs Import, that will then make it clearer that the scene collection is within Streamlabs OBS because the name of the scene collection will be there. So now that we've got those imported, we should be able to now select the scene collection by left clicking from here. It'll take a few seconds to import all of that information. And I now have all of these scenes that were visible in 
OBS Studio. You're still going to have to configure your camera. You're still going to have to configure your microphone and a few other little bits and pieces, but it does mean you'll save a lot of time if you're simply looking to switch software without doing all the scene changes and things like that. You simply want to replicate A to B. One of the reasons people use OBS Studio is because of the plugins, and a lot of those plugins and functions are not available in Streamlabs OBS. That's not so much of a problem for some people, but for some people, if you do have a load of filters and specific plugins that you've used on OBS Studio, they will not apply in Streamlabs OBS, you will not be able to do a lot of those things, the like special effects and things like that within Streamlabs OBS. And that, of course, is one of the benefits of Streamlabs OBS in that it's a simplified piece of software, whereas OBS Studio is a little bit more flexible due to plugins and things like that. So it's got its pros and cons depending on what you prefer to use. So There's just something to bear in mind. The reason why I mention this is that things aren't going to look quite the same way as they did in OBS Studio if you've used a lot of different filters and special effects and things like that. However, if you stuck to the basics, straightforward media files, images, and browser sources, all of those things should port over and it should work absolutely fine for you. So there you have it, how you can export from OBS Studio to Streamlabs OBS or any other software as well if you use the JSON files. Let me know if this saved your time. Let me know if you found it useful. Give it a like. Feel free to subscribe and have a great, great day. Take care.